Right, please excuse the fact that uh, I'm about to do this little brief overview in uh, my utility room and the FX Impact M3 is about to fall into a Belfast sink, but never mind. Um, I didn't want to go and do a proper review as of yet because uh, I'm not used to the rifle and I don't really want to you know, be casting any opinions and dispersions on something I don't know a lot about at the moment, but um, I'm learning and uh, all I can say is, wow, what a great rifle. I've had it about a week and I've been playing around with different settings and stuff and tunes and things and there's a few tunes available online and I've asked advice here and there. Um, all I can say is I'm, I'm well impressed, well impressed. I'll just take you through briefly what I've got. Um, I'll start at the front here, got the Zero DB sound moderator that I did have with the Delta Wolf, but decided to uh, keep that one. I think it looks quite nice. Um, with the Bronze Sniper Edition, uh, you get a 580cc um, carbon fiber body bottle. Um, Akitat, as usual, nothing but the best. Well, yeah, that's open to debate, but I don't think you can really argue with these bipods. They are bomb proof and they are very well made. Uh, I got the Arca Swiss full length um, Arca rail. Uh, same Vice Sabre Tactical, um, very lightweight. I picked it up in the Sportsman, and it was I couldn't get over how light it was. And you literally, I mean, every every ounce on this gun is going to add to carrying it around. I don't generally carry it around a lot. I will uh, shoot from a station position, so I don't really have to worry about it. But to someone who's going to be out hunting or whatever, weight is a big factor, and this is very light. So I would definitely recommend getting one. Um, there's your first reg. Um, that come factory set at 150 bar. And I've been messing around with it. Been borrow, I borrowed a tune off somebody, uh, calls himself air gun enthusiast. He's been very helpful. He, uh, he told me what his tune was and he'd set his first regulator at 175 bar or thereabouts. And he set the valve, can't see that, can you with the light, but that's about five lines. Um, moving back, you've got the, this is the quick tune system that everyone's been going on about. Um, I've got mine set to eight and the micro, so the macro is set to eight and the micro is set to, you can see that, probably not, 2.5. Uh, the tune that the airgun enthusiast did it's a little bit different on my rifle, but it lands you in the ballpark very well, squarely in the ballpark. Um, so it proves that FX has claimed that you know this this quick tune system works. It really does work. Uh, I think the other YouTuber chap was getting about 910, 915 feet per second with a 25 grain um, FX pellet. I was getting about just under 900, but he obviously lives in a different part of the world than me and atmospherics pressure, humidity, all that, you know, so, but there you go, you can just tune it a little bit, I could probably up that a bit, but the accuracy was good, I think I was getting about 895 feet per second, um, and obviously, yeah, like that's with a 175 bar on the first reg, and, I don't know, get under here, can I, that's about 110 on the second reg, so, very consistent, uh, I also you decided to turn the dial here up to 16. If I had to turn it to 16, I could then shoot uh, the FX hybrids, uh, 26 grain slugs, and they are very accurate. Um, I want to obviously want to shoot as many many different slugs as I can, just to prove the system works, which I already know it does. Um, but um, it's a still a little bit early days and. Uh, you know, it's good though that the, the quick team system does work. Um, yeah, what we've got here Power Plenum 720, 772cc, I believe that's what it is. Um, don't ask me what that means. I I don't know a lot about all the technical side to it. All I know is that it works. Um, going back, we've got the uh, Sabre Tactical um, rear butt stock at 
works really good. That is just a great, great little kit. Um, this, even better. This really impressed me. Uh, we can adjust this monopod. You can't really see it from the other side. Maybe you can. But yeah, there you go. You adjust that dial there and up your rifle goes. Um, it is really, really good. I, I, I'm running out of words really to say about this, but um, yeah, it's great. There is your cheek piece, and I've got the adjustable cheek riser fitted to it, and this bolts back on, and then I can get a better uh, cheek weld. And I've topped it with my Element Titan, which is a great scope. It's well worth the money. Um, a little bit heavy, a little bit on the heavy side, but um, like I said, I, I do a lot of my shooting stationary anyway. And um, But to somebody who wants to do some walked up, stalking, rabbits, whatever, um, maybe get something lighter. But it's up to you. Depends how much of a man you are, I reckon. So, yeah, uh, standard FX grips. I'm probably thinking about maybe changing this at some point, but right now I don't really want to mess with it. Um, up here, you see that brass screw, that adjusts your second rag. Um, always degas your gun, even though the FX, mag FX instruction manual doesn't tell you to degas when you want to decrease power. But um, obviously it's recommended that you do, so I would just say, yeah, do it. Um, Safer Tactical. Uh, front rail here again, I've, I've spoke about that already, but what I like here is Sabre Tactical gives you this um, dust cover, which is just a bit longer than the factory one, and if you look here, it just snaps in with a magnet. Um, works really well, all very a very well put together, thought out rifle, and if a moron like me can use it, I think anyone can. But um, yeah, I will be doing and more of an in-depth review and actually filming some uh, slugs and some pellets groupings. Uh, last time I tried to do this, my GoPro decided to die and I've had a few issues with it, but yeah, so hopefully it won't be too long. So, uh, and it won't be in a utility room. So uh, sorry about that, apologies, but that's probably the best light I could get at this time of day. So yeah, there's the FX Impact M3. Bronze sniper in 0.25 caliber, my ad, um, and it's uh, awesome. Get one now. <laughs>